dire United Wrong Nation. Nous avons la joie d'accueillir Frank Carter et Zaratan Snake. Alors, d'où vous êtes venu cette envie de chanter et à quel âge How long did you start uh, singing in your old boy? Oh man, I was so young, like four or five, and I started singing around my house, and I loved it ever since then. When I was when I was really little, I had a really beautiful voice. And then and then I hit 12 and puberty hit me. And then I found metal. And, uh, quels artistes ou groupes vous a influencé Which bands in the world Everyone, from Elton John to Genesis to Bjork to Madness to, you know, Rage Against the Machine, System of a Down, right through to Armand Last Jaw, Metallica, Rockhampton. We, we, we grew, I grew up. My dad was a DJ when I was younger, so he had a lot of music in the house. You know? uh, so I think we both, and, and Dean's father is an amazing guitarist, so we've been around music our whole life. Uh, we're influenced by like soul. You know, anyone who has soul will. Okay. Et comment vous êtes-vous rencontré avec le Lyon actuel How did you meet with the, the actual band Well, we met because he wanted a tattoo from me. And he I wanted, to, I wanted a web... From you. I, he wanted me to give him a tattoo and I wanted him to build me a website. Okay, he wanted to give me a tattoo and he wanted to build my website, my site web. So yeah, that's how we met. The other guys, les autres, c'est une histoire un peu plus profonde. Um, vous êtes sur la fin de votre tournée de la du deuxième album. From your second album. Votre troisième album est déjà sorti. The third one is already released. Yeah. D'où vient cette boulimie? How come are you so d'écriture? <laughs> writing and greedy and bulimic. Wow. Um, <laughs> That's my translation for yeah, what she yeah. said. Well, I guess. Um, Because we can be, because we, you know, we, there is so much to learn and to enjoy about life. And you experience so much every day, highs and lows, and that's all I've ever been able to write about. Writing for me is therapy, you know, it, help, it helps me understand who I am and it helps me understand the world so I think you'd be amazed at how many songs I have that will never see the light of day <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> One day, maybe. Un <laughs> jour. You know, you know, write down your memories. A hundred year, a hundred year album. Yeah. Un album de cent ans. Je trouve que The End of Suffering est un album assez sombre. It's a pretty dark album, End of Suffering. Mm -hmm. um, Dirais-tu que c'est un album intimiste et que te procure le fait d'exprimer um, ses sentiments, en fait? Is it an intimist or album and uh, what does it bring you to express such uh, dark feelings? It's the most intimate album we've ever written. Le, le, plus ait jamais écrit. And, um, for us it's about, when you listen to it, it can be quite somber. But ultimately the whole record is about hope. It's Mais about finding hope in those dark times and living through the darkness to find the light again. So, c'est un album qui est qui exprime l'espoir le, et comment euh, passer par cette époque très sombre pour retrouver la lumière de la vie. I think all we get all we get now from playing live is light and hope and excitement. Tout ce qu'on joue plein à jouer en public c'est euh, la, la lumière, la vie et We, li we live in proof. We live in proof that you can get through those dark times and life can be better. And we want to be that living proof for everyone in the audience who maybe doesn't feel as strong as us. Je vais en venir du coup à l'artwork, justement, qui est réalisé, qui est très gay, coloré. Et... 
ça serait pas une... ça c'est en contradiction du coup avec l'album. You're not too contradictory with your album. Yes. <laughs> that's okay, exactly, next question. That's exactly why. Yeah? But we wanted something, you know, the album, like I said, it's it's dark in places, but ultimately it's about hope. Really? And we wanted something to to visually show that. You know, we wanted the light at the end of the tunnel to be overwhelming and you know vibrant, exuberant. So that everyone picks up that record and they see it and they hear it and then they can the balance is there. Vous voulez que le, la pochette représente en fait le but ultime de l'album qui est l'espoir le, et la lumière etc et que les gens qui l'écoutent au final se rendent compte en le voyant et au final se rendent compte que c'était le, le but ultime de cet album. Comme, comme une sortie de tunnel. Like the yeah getting out of a tunnel. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Front, euh, meilleur frontman européen. Best European D'où te vient cette énergie et euh, ce besoin de, de sauter dans la foule Maybe just an overwhelming urge to um, make them feel what I feel. It's totally futile because no one can ever feel the way I feel on stage. It's futile because personne au fond ne peut ressentir ce que moi je ressens sur scène. It's great. Aujourd'hui, à la fête du bruit, ça va être la quatrième fois que je vous vois. Et que j'ai la chance de vous photographier en fait. Euh, j'ai fait, fait le Hellfest dans notre Paris. Stéréolux à Nantes. Resurrection Fest. Et j'ai pas réussi à déceler euh, dans quel environnement. Euh, vous préférez jouer. I couldn't find out in which uh, environment you, you prefer playing. Tant, tant l'énergie est, uh, est là et en fait et tant il donne au public. Uh, you give so much to your audience and so much energy. Est-ce qu'il préfère donc du coup est-ce qu'il préfère les petites scènes yeah. ou les grandes scènes? Would you prefer like small audiences or big stages or? Neither. Don't don't. Okay. There's no preference. Yeah, but everything gives you something different. Sort of what you're talking. Like every, yeah, and every everything you get different things from a small stage than you do from a big stage. But, but the reality is that all of that makes you who you are. You can't walk out onto a big stage with the confidence that we have if you haven't been able to win the small room. Yeah. On ne peut pas se permettre de jouer une grande scène si on n'a pas conquis une petite scène avant et ça nous apporte des... Quand vous avez grandi dans ces petits rooms et que vous avez trouvé quelque chose que personne n'a pas, quand vous le prenez à une grande stage, le whole field se sent dans le monde. Vous vous faites 10 000 personnes se sentent comme un monde. Quand on arrive à une petite scène et qu'on arrive après à jouer sur une grande scène, on a le même sentiment de tenir un groupe. Il n'y a pas de différence au niveau du public. Non, il n'y a pas de différence. Euh, votre corps, à tous les deux, du coup, Your est couvert de soie, de tatouage. Est-ce qu'il raconte des moments de votre vie ou ce sont juste des envies du moment Let's get tattooed. Um, I think for me a mixture. I've got some that mean a lot to me. I've got one for my mum, one for my dad. I've got a Nick Cave tattoo, and then I've got a giant snake on my back for this band. Um, and then others I just really like the way they look. Yeah, it's very easy to represent my mother, my father, my dad, a snake for the rattlesnake for my band, and then a Nick Cave on my mum. It's very variable. It's the same. I, I have. I have some tattoos that mean the absolute world to me and some that just look cool as fuck. Il y en a qui signifient beaucoup pour moi, puis d'autres c'est n'importe quoi. D'accord. Ok. Et si je veux me faire tatouer par Franck So if uh, she asks you to tattoo her... Maintenant, à l'heure actuelle, où dois-je aller Where should she go 
right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in my dressing room. <laughs> That's that <lawyer>. Right now. <laughs> if you want one, yeah. Not in in um on in England. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you just email me. Okay. Frank Carter tattooing at gmail.com. That's the best way to get in touch with me. So you're on the you'll have to practice your English though. <laughs> yeah. Et, uh, the last one. <coughs> Va-t-on avoir la chance ce soir de te voir rejoindre en fait les prophètes Is there any chance we can find you on stage with the prophets? Unfortunately, not. Like we wish, we wish we could, but our schedule is crazy. We play in Germany tomorrow, okay. so we leave like at 9 p.m. We leave, and I think they play at 10:30, so we're going to be gone before they arrive and I did call Tom yesterday and I, I said look we're going to be in town we might try and make it work if you want to come and play the solo but he gets in after we play and we leave before he plays so we'll high five him yeah. we're going to high five him on the way out so yeah yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Because we have an interview with them after the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll tell them we I'll send our love. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay? Okay. Merci de m'avoir accordé ce moment. Thank you. Thank you. Merci beaucoup for your Nike Rogue Nation. Cool. Well, <laughs> merci thanks, à Titi. Have a nice show. Pleasure, pleasure. Thank you very much. Ha ha ha!